for keeping it a buck, there's one thing that the Sooners have in um, access that they should be excited about. It's the linebacker room. I mentioned this in a video before that we had to talk about them going into the spring game because when I look at the linebacker room, I'm not going to be honest. When the portal opened, a little nervous because a lot of opportunity for people to want to bounce out because the linebacker room is deep. Let's dive into what we've been seeing and hearing from interviews over the last few days since Coach Brent Venables has done a fantastic job allowing media members and the beat writers into these practices to get interviews and questions answered and footage. Man, it's been amazing. And so I want to talk to you all about that. Before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank you all for pulling up to the channel. I want you all to hop in the comments. Let me know what's your thoughts on the linebacker room. Who do you want to see at the spring game? We definitely want to hear from you all. We love for you to engage with the community and give us your thoughts. I'll hop in the comments and respond to you all. From there, let's talk about these linebackers in, in the room that to me is one that's growing in the perfect image of Brent Finnables. This is why. So in some of the interviews that I've been watching, I noticed a common trend about a lot of the guys. Each one was basically saying from your Lewis Carters, the young guy out of Florida, in which Brent Venable said he felt like he was the best player out of the state of Florida in that class two years ago, all the way to your Danny Stutzman, the leader of this defense right now. And in between, they all make mention about, you know, wanting to be impactful to this for this team next season. They want to make an impact. They want to be out there on the field. They want to play. They want to make sure that they're doing the right things. And this shows me that what Brent Venables is doing and the way that he shifted his entire focus because he's not just at linebackers now, right? Zach Alley's there. And Zach Alley's got those boys energized. It appears that Alley has every single one of these players excited because the best part is, is every single person in the interview says, if you got your eyes closed, you're wearing a blindfold and all you do is listening, it sounds like Brent Venables out there. It may not be the same raspy voice, but the tone, the pitch, the focus, the the wording, Brent Venables 2.0. And so that's why I'm excited. But really, when the portal opened, I was a little nervous because we haven't got a chance to see a lot of the really young guys. Like right now, you've seen Danny Stutzman, Jerry Canick were your main guys because Canick was just fast and was able to make things happen at a young age, but you still had some of the other guys at like at linebacker like David Aguebu and all of that stuff back when Brent Venables was here. Well, first got here. But when you look at some of the other young guys down that line, so you got Kip, Kobe McKenzie. We haven't seen much Kobe, but when Kobe did get in, he had some great moments and he didn't have some he had some not so great moments. And that was definitely where you could tell young and they're still learning. Well I personally am trying to figure out who's going to be the one to jump out and play more. Stutzman's back. Kanick is still young. This will be his third season in the system. And so we anticipate this is the year where everything clicks and he's able to go out there and run wild and do what Stutzman did last year. Kip Lewis seems to have carved out a role to where he's possibly going to be playing right next to Stutzman in a lot of plays. Desai McCullough, our cheetah, has also been playing a little bit of will on the weak side and... It appears that, you know, he has become a guy that Venables and staff likes being out there with Stutzman. And so you're seeing McCullough move back into the linebacker role. And then when you rotate around, we need to get some Kobe McKenzie out there. And of course, Kip. And then, you know, we can it. Then you got the young guys, Lewis Carter, who said he's ready to play. He was saying in an interview recently, you know, he's excited about the opportunity to contribute. He wants to make sure that he's doing something to help the team win. Then you got Samuel Mosigo, who from Cheetah to linebacker. First off, if you listen to Sammy's interview, man, I'll put it in the description. Sammy's a great interview, right? And he he speaks very eloquently and he talks very highly of Brent Venables and staff and what they've done for him, um, especially with the things that happened with his family. He, to me, sounds like he's a player that's ready to make that next leap as well. Then you go from Omosigo you move over into Phil Pachati, who's coming off of that knee surgery towards ACL, if I'm correct, in the fall before the season started. And now he's getting himself healthy to play. Then you start going into some of the young boys, you know, James Nesta, you know, Michael Bogonowski, who's training with the line with the safeties now, but he can play a little bit of linebacker as well as Cheetah. So that position itself, it's 
being built and molded out into the vision that Brent Venables wanted it to be, right? It's feeling a lot more like Clemson. A lot of what we're seeing in the type of players they're going after, ones that like to hit. I mean, I y'all know me. If you've watched me for a while, I've talked about Kip Lewis and only had one concern. I feel like I need to put on some weight. Then he went out there and started hitting people, and I was like, oh, okay, never mind. I'm pretty off base on that one, it sounded like. So when you see that and you hear that, Hey man, it seems like these players are they're they're developing a linebacker room. It's going to be elite going into the SEC. So when it comes to this spring game, a few things that I'm going to jump out to me. The one thing I'm I'm curious to see what happens is I want to see where Lewis Carter is inserted. Like who is he matched up with? I also want to see who Kobe McKenzie's matched up with. Those are the two really critical ones for me because depending if they're playing in some first and second, who the person is next to him, if they're complimenting it. It's going to tell me a lot about what they're going to be when it comes to moving forward on this team, right? If, I guess for me, the bigger question is that and how impactful they're going to be when it comes to who they're matched up with, right? Lost my train of thought, but at the same time, the focus is that linebacker remains getting there. So hop in the comments. Let me know. Who do you want to see at the linebacker spot? Who do you want to, who are you most intrigued by going into the spring game? Because, there's a lot of excitement that definitely should be there. You made this far like the content. Please hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. Love for y'all to join us. Great family of Sooner fans. Talking OU football, SEC football, and uh, having a blast to do it. So, all right. We'll have more videos coming down. Of course, we went live last night. Make sure you check that out. Great discussion. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. Peace. Peace.